Hi guys, welcome to the second part of the subscriber request tutorial video series. In this video, I will show you how I did UV unwrapping of this turtle model in Autodesk Maya. So let's get started. If you are new to this channel, I post 3D tutorials here on weekly basis, and if that's your sort of thing, please consider subscribing. So here we are in Maya. In the previous video, we have created this model. If you haven't checked it yet, please have a look at it first, so that we are in the same page. The link of the first part, is provided on the video description. Now let's get started. Firstly, I will delete the history and freeze transformation of this model to clear out the scene. And then I will open up the UV editor on another view over here. And now let's start with the upper shell. I will isolate it, then go to UV, and I will tear up this options and place it over here. Then I will select planar mapping option box, and select Y from here, and click on apply. Now go to edge mode, double click and select this edge loop, go to UV editor, then hold shift, right click and select cut. Similarly down here, I will select this edge loop, and then go to UV editor, and apply cut. Now right click and go to UV shell, and you can select each shell and separate them out. Then select this shell, and by holding shift, right click, go to unfold, and then unfold. Similarly I will unfold the rest of the UV shells. After that, I will right click and go to UV mode, and then rotate these UVs in the same direction. Once the unfold of these shells are done, I will drag and select all these UV shells, then hold shift, right click, go to layout, then layout UV. Now you can turn on this checker texture from UV editor, and check out the distribution of the checker texture, and see if any deformation is happening or not. It's looking quite good to me. Now let's move on to the next part of the model. It is the same process to do the unwrap of the UVs. Do a planar mapping from the best possible axis, then select the necessary edge loops, and apply cut from UV editor, and then select the UV shells and apply unfold on them. After that, adjust the rotation order, and then lay out the UV shells. Now I will do the same thing for the body as well. I will hold shift right click and select separate, to separate the body and the nails. Here I will separate out UVs of the head and neck, and the four legs as well, by applying cut on these edge loops. Now I will turn on the symmetry, then select this edge loop from one side, and it will select the edge loop on the other side as well. And then by holding Ctrl key, I will deselect the edges from the legs, and apply cut from UV editor.
and now I will do the same for the tail. Select the necessary edge loop, deselect the edges on the legs, and then apply cut.
Now since these eyes have similar topology, I will unfold one of them. After that shift select the other one, then go to Mesh, and select Transfer Attributes option box. Over here, I will reset the settings, then select Topology, and then Color Sets, I will keep it to Off, then click on Apply. And it will automatically apply the same UV unwrap for that eye. And finally, let's do the unwrap for the nails. Since all these nails are having similar topology, I will do the unwrap for one nail. After that, I will select that nail, shift select other one, and apply transfer attributes on it. After that, shift select one by one, then press G on keyboard to repeat the last command. And after all the UVs are unwrapped, I will select all of these parts, then click on center pivot, delete history, and freeze transformation. And finally, select all the parts of the model, then go to UV mode and select all the UV shells, after that by holding shift, right click, go to layout, then layout UV. And then you can arrange the UV shells, as per your choice. And that is how you can unwrap UVs of the turtle model. In the next part we will see how to texture this model in Substance Painter. Stay tuned for the next video. So guys, I hope you like this video. Subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications first whenever there is any new video in my channel. Feel free to ask me anything regarding this video in the comments section. Stay safe, and I will see you on the next video.